Welcome to Gatewalkers uh, session 32. The one where nice. they all die. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. The one where Onovan dies specifically. Yeah, honestly. Onovan. Yeah. Um, Onovan, yeah. Uh, as is tradition, would you like to do the recap and then I'll give sure. a point, your point out to somebody? So. Yeah. So we're in the series of Dr. Boobly Boo. R- yeah. Riddleson. Right. Riddleson. I was going to say Riddlebottom, but you know, same thing. Um, and uh, we started to explore. We found some cells to begin with, and then we quickly uh, were able to ask you what would be like a lecture theatre. In the lecture theatre, the 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 everyone started to be and we realised that it was a team and us, and we had an outing room, leaving his friends to possibly die from a team and us, to try and make an antidote. He had a pretty good idea that he was in the lecture theatre, didn't he? No, no. Um, we got back in there, started waking people up. Uh, thanks to uh, us, we found that lever. Um, it was just, just, just in fingers like from turning off themselves. Um, but they showed his loss, he was nice to turn it off. Um, That's amazing. We investigated that uh, basically that lecture theatre had been used to, uh, in quotes, um, teach gatewalkers about like what they're going through and stuff, but actually it was used as a trap to. Uh, put them into sleeping gas, and bit by bit, we would learn that um, Dr. Wilson had been entrapping gatewalkers and like killing them or using them as a sacrifice or something. And we learned this by uh, going through more of the tunnels. We met a big, creepy Osoya uh, or it's Yosa Ogumunzorius, but uh, you skipped a oh. small detail, uh, and this is a small but very important detail where you guys went up here, found what seems to that be a it. plethora of information and did not read anything. Yeah. Uh, basically, <laughs> skulls had been, like, extracted. The brains and skulls had been extracted. There was a weird, whizzy brain machine, and then the juice of that had been... Something had been done with the brains, basically. Um, we went down, found a ritual circle. There was a strange alien-like fish creature uh, that was like, oh, you've not remembered your, your things yet? Well... Talk to me when you have, haha, <laughs> and then disappeared. Uh, then we were like, okay, well, we'll keep on investigating. We got to a room that had a bunch of doors, and we know that Dr. Bill said, like, locks and locks and locks. We found a three volt uh, security system, three volt doors. Uh, we barely got past them. We kind of brute forced our way past most of them, but eventually did find a mechanism that was like, uh, I think. Russell investigated around and found no oh, Helmy the did. information. Helmy did. Helmy went around and found what we needed. Uh, eventually, we got in there. Russell decided to go in and was like, "Oh look, big monsters!" Uh, which we then decided to try. That Russell decided to try and leave, and unfortunately, they broke through as we were talking about what to do with them. And then Onovan decided to just run in. We all had a round of combat. We all got beaten up massively. Uh, there was many regrets, and now we're here. that the uh sorry i'm trying to play the music to be more dramatic but it's not playing there we go and so now we're here yakety sacks at this point hey bum, bum, uh bum, we're bum, gonna bum, give bum, bum. a random hero point to that's one two three four five onovan you get it there you go hell you yeah need it. Um, um, i had zero so that's great all right onovan what you didn't you like deserve it man uh thank thanks thanks cereal cheers bud <laughs> Uh, uh okay um i'm going to uh, 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 oh i'm out of those spell slots okay cool 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 uh, i'm gonna try and tumble through which way uh to the right of Helmy. all right i need you to target the guest hit go to basic action macros and tumble through please uh, i was already on it oh why uh I will hero point. No, I won't. I'll just... Wait, each time <laughs> is it? Each time you do it, you get a modifier, or is it like fine to just no, keep trying to tumble you through? Can keep, you can keep trying. There is yeah, no I'll just I'll save my hero points when I'm doing death saves. I think on this one, um, I'll tumble through again as my second action. Hey! All right. What is your movement? Twenty five. That's gonna yeah. be five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Just out of there in any. Yeah, basically right behind Serial. I think diagonal. You can even move diagonally or 
down or up. Oh, yeah. okay. I'll I'll just keep it as it is. Um, and then is loss. Can't see anything apparently. We've Why do we not have any light? Not. We should. I'm clicking on Isla since she is not able to see. Why can you? Oh, uh, maybe her, maybe her head's in the wall and so it. Let's try now. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Islas is going to reach and attack this oogly boogly. I uh, act have together. Lesser cover. Reach that's still fine. applies lesser cover. Uh, boom. No, and MAP. Boom. And that's my turn. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, I'm going to change a dice setting. I want the dice to roll as soon as you hit the button and then the dice will roll. I think I've done it in another game and it's actually, there we go, a lot better. I hope it doesn't refresh okay. the game. There we go. All right. So yeah, that's me. Sorry. Yeah, the guest will move here. I cast your race, race. You're you're fine. You're fine. Who are you asking? Cast your race, yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm good. Oh, okay. Good. Uh, I, I'll just I'll just hide hide behind you. It's it's all right. All right. Uh, like, would, somebody, would somebody be so kind as to stream for a spectator? Stream. Would it be appreciated? As my computer cannot handle it, we're gonna go ahead and um. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The guest will stride up. I wonder if they're going to bother Froze. Oh, where are you going? Help me now. Where are you going? Sorry. Help me now. You, Didn't mean you, to do just, that. you stay right there. Now, is this legal? Technically. <laughs> I don't think Trey this... can answer that. Uh, Not allowed to give advice. I feel like that's a, a stretch. How about. Kind of that's like. that seems more kosher. That um, does it have to be on the corner of your thing. Technically, yeah, it can be on a corner. And let me, God, uh, I don't. I feel like um, it shouldn't be able to be like fully around a corner, though. <laughs> like, um, we're not like I, XCOM Overwatch here doing your like. <laughs> I'll stop man. doing this. I'll stop doing the back, man. Uh, all right. Well, maybe just like kind of like this, where it would hit. Technically, uh, I that can, hits on of them for some reason. I can but... see where it would hit, maybe Russell or Cass, but trying to hit Jordan or on of that seems like a stretch. All right. Well, then let's just do uh, uh, Helmy and Russell. Go and roll me this button here. And one of the guests, I think. Uh, well, sure, the guest will also roll the button. I don't think the guest gives a shit. <laughs> oh, hell, hey. hell yeah, hell me. And then uh, Russell hit the reflex button. Uh -oh. ja Jaren, you make a very good point. I agree. What did Jordan say? Jaren said... Oh, Jaren! Uh, yeah, Jaren oh. made a great point. Oh. Anyway, let me roll the damage. Blom. Oh. Russell takes 22. Uh-oh. And then I will roll a secret 1d4 here for its cooldown. Not so secret, because I literally put a number on top of him, but that's fine. Nice. Monkey! Monkey boy will attack Helmy. Why is it second? Oh, it's second and dazzle. I think we did a thing to it. It's because of uh, Russell's... Uh... Yeah, it doesn't like that, so I'm going to attack you instead. Uh, I'm oh, actually no. going to Frozen Wind and then attack. Well, let me attack in Frozen Wind uh, here. So, Claw. Okay. I use my reaction to shield block. Oh, wait, I think it missed anyway. It, it didn't hit. Sorry, I it saw this. Hit. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's going to Frozen Wind all the way down. We. Uh, so I would like the no. three of you to hit this button. Good night, Anavan. Pablo oh, breath attacks GM. Boom. Oh, success. Inspire defense has been uh been great. Let me apply the damage.
I'm not sure why I did that, but sure. Hey, um, as soon as half, half, and uh, let me apply half to Jordan and bonus, or Ono, sorry. Is it applying? Okay, there we go. And oh. There we go. Russell takes full, and then it will. Oh no, I did strike. Okay, that's fine. Oh my, monkey stuck. I'm going to attempt to tumble through. Hell me first. And it'll move either left or right. Uh, well, let me let me do the thing first. Probably Come right. on. It, it could only go right, yeah. Yeah, all right. Hell me, you can take an AOO as it moves past you, though. I think I will. Go ahead and target this guy while uh, he's still going to be down there, but yeah. Uh, uh, this is scary. Okay, throw me damage. I love that you hit on a nine. That's wild. Seven, even. Okay. Oh. Here's the weird rules question as it has tumbled through Helmy. Um, that's one action. It's going to go. Right, obviously, there's nowhere else it can go. Um, can it just squeeze past Cass? Because if it fails two tumble throughs, it means that he's stuck in that, and like he can't really be in that position. So, I think this all has to be one kind of thing, right? Um, he needs to succeed on both tumble. I don't know. Let me let me just tumble through here and just hopefully succeed and not have to worry about. All right, let's do one more. Okay, well, this is weird. I don't know how to do this. He can fall prone, and then these, his friend can stand on top of him. <laughs> that I'm trying to look at the rules now. That actually seems fair. That's yeah. actually a fitting uh, thematic. Okay, thing. let's do that to not start looking at super rules here. He attempts to tumble through cast, will fail, and will fall prone kind of in the same spot as the other one. And I'm going to put both of them kind of here. You guys can attack either if you'd like. Sorry, this will be used against us as well. We all, we all realize this, right? Yep. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Such is life. And uh, speaking of life, uh, Helme is surrounded by weird monkey things and is going to attempt to kill them. You got this, Helme! This one Do right it. here. Helme is going to... Uh, oh, yeah. Crit. Crit. Okay. Hell yeah. And Helmy is going to attack it again. Have I made you guys roll a trigger memory check yet? No. Nope. No. Not in this uh, encounter. Okay. All right. Draw me a will save as you attack at once. Please help me. I do. Oh, yeah, you did make me. I, I, I think I didn't. I made Onovan roll, yeah. Okay, you're fine. Hell me, and the second one hits, roll me damage. I think Jordan also had to. I can't remember. Jordan or I don't cast. remember. That's been a bit. So, I don't right. remember. That's another 15. One last action, Hell me. Uh, well, I'm a fighter, so I'm going to attempt to hit it again, and oh no. Oh no. Uh, that ain't okay. happening. That is okay. It's still around. Hey, this thing's going to retaliate. Um, on you. This one's the not prone one. Um, mm -hmm. does it have its breath? Yeah, I think I'm gonna breathe out and attack. So let's do both here. Let's frozen wind on the direction to the left. Uh, I know it's more whatever to hit the people on the right, but that's not Tactical, what it's gonna yeah. do. Yeah, it's not what it's gonna do. Is uh, so Islos isn't in this, so that's fine. I uh, tell me good. Russell and Jarden to hit this uh also I think two of the guests. Uh I think it would hey. attempt to do it in a way that it doesn't hit the bottom one if I kind of put it this way. So I will do the guest that is at the top. I I'm it's not trying to hurt its own friends here. Alright, cool. Uh we'll roll the damage. All right, we're going to do Hell Me full, and you are resistant somewhat to cold. The guest is going to take full, and they're also resistant to cold. Russell and Jarden take half. And then it is going to strike at you with its last action, Hell Me. So let's go ahead and do that. You don't have a shield raised, right? No, you just. No, I do not. Times. All right. So we're just going to go ahead and claw at you with 
Uh, did that apply flanking? Yes, it did. That doesn't matter, but you'll take some damage there. All right. And you do have your reaction if we were in a reactive shield, but I guess it doesn't matter because it hits by plus three, so that's fine. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to, and I'm I'm saving it for something stabbier. That's <laughs> absolutely fine. Russell, what would you like to do? All right. Well, seeing the, the schmuster schmuck going on in this hallway, Russell uh, is going to stick out her hand. She's going to start with one of these, and then she's going to fire off one of these. Okay, uh, right to the right, I'm assuming. Yep. No, I just want to kill Jordan. Sorry, Jordan. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'll roll three <laughs> reflex saves here. Uh, cover would not apply. No, lesser cover doesn't give to reflexes. Does it get the one around the corner? No, because he could technically lean out and hit you. You, he, for you, he's, it's, it, you just got two crit failures on this, so don't, don't bitch. All right. One, two, <laughs> and fuck. Wow. <laughs> All righty. Damn. That's. That's cool. That's a... Oh, that's 24 damage. All right, well. One monkey uh, dead. a ton of bleed. ton of bleed, yeah. As Russell curls into a ball and spikes jut out from the armor and fire all the way down the hallway. As not affecting of, her friends. As one of the monkeys dies, they fall You gotta apart. teach me how to do that. As one of the monkeys dies, the one that we're here, it'll fall apart into a tangle of meat, grizzle, fur, bone, and gore. All creatures that are within a 10 foot emanation, so I think that would include Helmy, Cass, and Onovan, need to hit this button. No. Oh, nice. Someone is uh, rolling pretty well today. You're rolling wild. Is low snow? We roll as Onovan, please. I'm sorry, but also thank you. Nice, I'm kind of amazing. Hey, you guys are fine. All right. Um, that's your turn, Russell. Cass. Oh yes, I think. Um. Both of these expired here. So I think we are in need of something cool. A second, I'm just uh, liking as my things are removed. There we go. Uh, I, I don't want to slow the roll. Uh, technically, that is non lethal damage, though. So I don't know if that affects in this situation. Well, then. Uh, let uh -oh. me see their build. They are. Huh. I don't know how that works to kill with non-lethal damage for saving throws. Uh, does it say as a path following illusion is a non-lethal trick? I guess it isn't dead, so it's just on. Uh, I'm gonna say due to the nature of these creatures, whilst it doesn't say anything, I am gonna say they're gonna fall apart regardless. Not to make it super confusing, but it's just the nature of these things to effectively. Yeah, it needs its like conscious they're, mind to keep it. They're they're not going to stay up together. They're, yeah, they're the, the I point just of wanted these, to. Yeah. I just wanted to point it out for your benefit and to make sure it. I was being honest and fair. All good. All good. I appreciate it. They're, they're not going to stick around. Non-lethal would be considered lethal in these in this case, at least for these specific enemies. Sorry, but yeah, Cass, what do you want to do? Yeah, I think a Inspire Heroics is in need currently. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, just double check the DC is 29. Uh, confirm it. Is it hard your level? It's uh, let me find it here. I forgot it already. It, it came up with a number by itself when it's double checking. It's correct. It's uh, are you guys level very hard? Very hard right, 29. Yep, all right. Okay, okay, I guess it does it correctly then. Come on, crit. Oh, you <laughs> straight up crit. 
Blue what crit, both teams have used this. Plus three to attack for a round. What the hell? What the fuck? Well oh, done. yeah, boy. That's how we like it. Wow. And then I will... Uh, let's look at these two bastards. I'm going to cast a uh, Electric Arc. Awesome. Roll me damage. You got it. Okay. And that's reactions. Indeed. Thank you so much, Cass. Jordan, what would you like to do? He's a crit Jordan, machine now. Yeah, yes, hopefully. Jordan is <laughs> going to reach uh, past uh, uh, Russell here and attempt uh, to trip this one. Okay. Brown. And then in Magus fashion, because he hasn't used it yet, going to spell strike while he's down. Kick him while he's down. Give it a shot. It is an MAP. Yep. Which With doesn't a... matter because you have a shit ton of uh, uh, attack roll bonus, but give it a shot. Yep, I told you it wouldn't matter. All right, he's <laughs> he's uh, takes twenty nine as he's resisted bludgeoning, but then he dies from the thing. He's gonna fall apart as well, which means that uh, as I delete him, I'm gonna put a ten foot emanation that includes Jarden, Russell, and Helmy. Uh, go ahead and roll me the will save here. Please. Does it matter that I crit succeeded on the prior one? It does not. It's every time. The clicky was not working. You guys are fine. Yeah, I noticed that too. All right. Well, that's your turn, Jordan. This guest, that is. this last one, will um tumble through Jahelmi. See, this is what I saved my uh, attack of opportunity for. Failure, <laughs> success. So he's going to spend two actions. Go ahead and either on either one, go ahead and attempt the uh, attack of opportunity here. Fuck me. Wait, wait, wait. Would that be flanking? Well, it doesn't matter because you have a bunch of buffs. Roll me critical. All right, he's going to retaliate by striking at you with his last action with a miss. Um, hmm. All right. My brain truly can't digest the math that makes fighters crit so much. Your machine. Uh, you know what's help funny? Me, uh... they only get up. A... Sorry, go ahead. You gotta train me once we uh, get out of here. They only get a plus two, technically, above everybody else. But only a plus, plus two. two. I know, yeah, but they crit two. so much. But it, I bet ridiculous. that plus two isn't like a status or circumstance, right? It's just like a flat plus two. Yeah, it's, no, it's, so a, it's, it's, a, it's a proficiency plus two. Yeah, so it just that... works with everything. It's gross. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. great. All right. Uh, his loss On is going way. to. Uh, I'm going to boost Eidolon. We're going a whole hog. Give it to me, Onovan. And I will. <laughs> oh, I don't want that. I just clicked the wrong one. Sorry. That one. Uh, boost Eidolon. Boop. Uh, and then reach on this one. Attack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Critical damage. I don't think you need my help, Islos. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> oh, I, I, need, I, I did well I then. Need, I need everything. Again, hit the button. Oh, I shouldn't have revealed it. It's fine. Just don't fail it. Uh, yep. What are these rolls? What are these fucking Our rolls? rolls are fucking oh, she can't go there, can she? No, you no, she, so she can't. Damn it. Hey, my reach is 25 One. on my turn. <laughs> One more? Yeah, I'll Russell. do one more. Right. I think it's 25. Hold on. Russell, hit the button. Five. Oh. Ten for the thing. 
Oh, maybe it's 20. All right. I don't think it should be 25, but... No, I think it's 20 know. on her turn. I think it's 20 on her turn and 15 as a... I don't know. I'm going to have to work that out. Anyway. Uh, I will. I uh, have Onovan. I might as well try to produce flow. Why not? Mm -hmm. MAP. Nice. Oh my god, you wasted my entire rush. I know, it's all right. Oh my god. <laughs> all right, we're going to tumble through. But the same person, if, if his last hits, I hit, right? Is that, is that, is that how, it, how it works? <laughs> All right, it's gonna fail and it's tumbled through, and it's gonna just angrily strike at Helmy. And oh, there we go. Yeah, I'll, I maybe. There we go. The guest will stand up. I'm out of attacks mm -hmm. of opportunity. That's fair. For now. I'll target you and strike at you twice. Oof. Tell me. Then I'll roll that recovery check for it. Damn, it just took 22 bleed damage and got rid of it, but it doesn't matter because he's about to get pacified. Actually, Helmy is going to start with the bottom one. Okay. Yes. Clever. Okay, that hits. <laughs> On a three. <laughs> oh my days. <laughs> and then it's going to the right one. That inspired courage is gross. Thank it's... you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Actually, I need, disgusting. Uh, I need the three of you to hit this button. Uh... Hey, look about time somebody failed this one, I guess. Second two. Second two. It's pretty gross. And you did get it in your mouth, Helmy. Sorry. Last action, Helmy. Uh, last action is just uh, yellow at the bottom one. <laughs> what are these dice rolls for you guys? Jeez. Oh my gosh. My god. Oh, sorry. I skipped uh, Russell. Russell, what are you doing? <laughs> no, did I get skipped? I don't think you got skipped, no. but it is you now. No, I, 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 it is you now, yeah. What are you doing? Uh, huh. So there's just the one left. Uh, we got Cass and Jarden going. So maybe Russell should just... Uh, I'll rechannel my elements and, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll dash a verbs help me. Yep, go ahead and hit the level HPD 10. So it's a ten minute, right? Yeah, that good, 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 good turn, Cass. And I think I get to make a roll against my second too. That's only if they. Oh, did you do the d10s or did you do the d8s? Oh, I forgot about the second. I rolled the d10s. Can I? Can I undo that? You want to undo that and do the d8s? Yeah, it's fine. Right. Now you can re-roll second. Healing, and then you can attempt a yeah. Roll me a fortitude save, DC twenty two. Um, I'm uh, roll better. I can't hero point that. I have no hero points. <laughs> That's okay. You're almost done with this battle, Cass. I do get rid of second automatically after the battle. So, Cass, what are you doing? Uh, I look around, and then I will uh, just give a Is of herbs ingested. Now that I think about it. Uh, I don't think so. Okay. It doesn't, it doesn't have say injustice, right? ingested. It doesn't say, yeah, yeah, that's fine. I just, I, I always forget Sick and doesn't allow you to drink. It's like a, a little breeze of mint goes by Helmy's nose. Yep. Sorry. Uh, 
Harmonize, Inspire Courage, Inspire Defense. Oh my goodness, Cass. That's me. Well, Jordan, finish this guy. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll walk up here. I'll kind of. You will have standard past, uh... cover from the angle, unfortunately. Yep, and that's fine. Um, I'll go ahead and target him. And I will just do a basic attack. Mm -hmm. And miss, I think. Yep. One more action. And uh, one more action. Um, well, I'm lucky with this, so let's go ahead and give it a whirl. Minus five. Ah. That's funny. Onovan. Oh, no. I have to finish this thing? <laughs> it's prone, so I mean. Uh, it's lost steps. So I don't think Islas can see it. I can see the corner. I can see the very top corner of it. That's fair enough. If you say no, that's fine. Um, then I won't step with her. Um, Onovan moves. Can Onovan see it? Yeah, it would have. It would have standard cover. But yes, absolutely. That's fine. I got this. It's all right. Uh, I'll help. Hit the button. Mm. <laughs> Roll damage. This is where oh it's immune to. No, it takes fire damage, but it's not going to die with that yet. Uh, that's one, two, three actions. Well, if you want to, I guess uh, Islos could have moved. So no, 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 it's all right. Moved. No, Islos, I don't want to move Islos. Islos is going to battle medicine herself. Okay, go for it. Uh, boop. Boop. And remember, we all know who needs assurance. Not me. Not me. Yeah! DC Fetty Baby! Get right! All right, Mr. Monkey Man is going to stand up, taking an attack of opportunity from Helmy. Look at me, Helmy. I'm the tank now. <laughs> nice. Nice. That's five as it is resistant to bludgeoning, but 32 as it is. Boom. And it's absolutely slaughtered here, guys. Were you worried mm. last week? Were you were you at all worried these were Not gonna... really. Now we've got we, we've got a helmet. We've got a helmet, we're fine. Right, we're gonna, uh, I, I need to quickly run to the restroom. So let me do a couple of things here. Um no, I need to quickly run to the restroom. So let's let me run to the restroom. Give me five minutes, guys. Bye. Yep. All right. Uh cereal. Like right in there. <laughs> oh, that was gross. Wait, did you just kill yourself, Helmy? What did you Accidentally, do? I hit Dyke instead of Hero Voice. Don't worry about it. <laughs> eh. What the heck were those things? Why is this place so terrible? Honestly, you know, I, I was trying to tell you for the longest time, Russell, that, you know, look on the bright side. Maybe it's not so bad. I kind of just want to go to your little garden, garden island now with you. I, I don't like this place much either. That was that was gross. No. Oh, All right, Cass is going off. We better follow before they summon something else. Oh, that's cool. It's like a that's like a arm in here or oh, hand. One of the one of the gas reveals just leaves a hand behind that radiates magic. Oh right. Um. Great. What is that? So, does this hallway actually look like the end of a horror movie, or do they like dissolve or something? They dissolved. Oh, okay. Blech. Yeah, That's pretty much. Gross. It's all very gooey. If it's okay with everyone else, uh, it took me a while to squeeze in here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just stay where I am rather than. I'm just gonna take a break. <laughs> 
You find the remains of a mummified salmon car hand, partially mummified and having a few bits missing. You don't get why, but you get the inexplicable sensation that this might be a unique item. <laughs> What's a salmon car? Uh, wasn't that one of those guys up here? That's yeah, except ideally they uh, look a lot. They look a lot better. They look a lot more like the stuffed one than the the things that just attacked us, or at least they're supposed to. Wait, that's what we just thought was one of those, but like warped and stuff. Somebody I thought did that was real bad to those things. Actually, wasn't Wait. it five of them all glued together and then they came apart? Yeah, can I try and do like something to understand whether it was like five of those things glued apart or like one of those things the base and then a bunch of gatewalkers scrambled up and stuck together i wonder if you had any like relevant information you could uh through. <laughs> hey roll me a recall knowledge macro please uh, a b c d natural seven for a hell yeah a... what do we use for this he's Medicine. a hero point you want to use a hero point for this? Yeah. Why are you at three? Because you gave me one for the recap. You didn't use one in battle? No. Oh, damn. Then good for you. Thanks. <laughs> All right, natural 15. Let's see what you get. I got a thumbs up from him as well. Oh. The guest was a truly monstrous creature when Russell saw it in the vat. It fed upon the nutrients that you can see spilt everywhere. Uh, it's a little green solution. It's a little cloudy green solution. The a guest was an attempt, you could tell, to grow something from the fragments of the flesh that you see on your floor here. You seem to have used a lot of magic and alchemy, but you don't know the details. The guest was a horrific tangled mass of raw flesh, white fur, fingers and toes, teeth and faces, horns and exposed more. As if five of these salmon cars had been mangled together into one mass of meat and hair. As you have alerted the thing, it ripped apart into five vaguely humanoid shapes. They seem to have shared a single mind, but they acted independently. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yikes. <clears throat> I, uh, I relay this to everyone else. You damn, that sucks, man. Seeing that this uh, appears to be some sort of a dead end. Hey, Russell, could you come down here? Uh, do I have to? Uh, if you don't mind. And bring your bring your bag of um, books with you. Oh wow! I can't move. I can't. What is it? Um, do you still have your uh, the books you got out of Riddleson's office there? Oh, I think you had to step away for a second. Eric is typing. Sorry, one second. Yeah, makes sense. Um, while Jordan is talking to Russell, uh, Helmy, Onovan, Cass, are you treating wounds and whatnot? Oh, yeah, I can, I can do that, can't I? Right. Well, uh, lay on hand myself and start refocusing. Sorry, I okay. just saw the big mess. Uh, what, what is it you need again? Do you still have your, ba your bag of books? Oh, the you mean the, the, the paper stuff? Yeah, here. Yeah, from the um, Dr. Wilson's office? Yeah, I, I mean, I, oh, I, I couldn't get a lot out of it. It's like he uses a lot um, of big words, and... After what we just saw and fought and what's in the other room, we should probably take a few minutes to read through some of that, because this is kind of way out of my league. 
can, can we like go to one of the comfortable rooms and do that? I mean, whatever's going on at its macro level is probably out of my league by a lot. But on a micro level, at this point, I feel pretty confident in saying that we probably need to find Dr. Riddleson and cut his head off. Just saying. Sure, but... Well, what are all these pillars, though, first? Let's, let's try and have a look at this room. Maybe we can study it a bit more. Donovan, you roll the recall knowledge. I'll use a crafting for 23. Okay. Not a great roll, because you're not training crafting, although you haven't trained conversation. The long and short of it is these levers seem to have been a way to unlatch the, like, lift up this vat and release the creature. Long and short of it, right? Okay. Um, for the most part, um, there is nothing that would make it even more secure. It's all release the creature one way or another or drain the liquid, I think, as well uh, and refresh it with more liquid. Uh, but for the most part... Uh, it was meant to be a way for Dr. Riddleson to securely release it if he ever came back here. But for the most part, also, this thing, when noticed, when it noticed something, just broke out instead. So. So. Um, well, also see seeing... a small wooden coffer at the corner here. Uh, to answer Russell's Russell's question, being that we just cleared cleared out whatever was bad here, and we know there's not bad here right now, going back to a room could. I mean, we might stumble into something else. It'd be best to find out how, what else we might be walking how into. How do you know all the bad there. stuff is done? We found all these secret doors and and stuff coming out of little little vents and holes, and and those things were all like soupy and liquidy like you don't know well, that don't, you're correct you're correct i don't know no no that but now is a good time a time as any i did describe it bonus i it's a wooden coffer Can uh, you open it there's a wooden coffer over there you open it, you see what seems to be hundreds and hundreds of numerous opulent gem moonstones. Have you got a bag? Mm -hmm. uh, I've got a bag of holding, yep. Hey, can I have it? I mean, I can come down there. <laughs> no, give it to me. I must have it. No, it's fine. I'm joking. Yeah, no. Uh, maybe we can put these Jordan in. These look shiny. Jordan will op op open the bag and uh, I'll take them. Russell, if you like, I can do you some healing when we get to a more comfortable room. Well, I'm good at tending to plants. That's fair. It's sort of my whole thing. What are we going to do when Riddleson comes back anyway, now that we killed his thingy, we broke into his secret place? Well, that's like, why we need to read the documents. I mean, my plan out. was to cut his head off, probably. Just going to put that out there again. Can what do you want to do, Russell? Can't we just... I don't know. Cut his head off? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could just leave. We, I mean, he doesn't... Is he going to chase us? Or Probably. Um, we know too maybe. much. I mean, the funny thing is we don't know enough, but we do know too exactly. much. You're right. I mean, how many more people are we going to have to kill while we're here? Uh, <sighs> as many baddies as we can before they kill us. That's kind of the elfin way, at least. I mean, I don't feel too bad about killing those things. It sort of felt like we were putting them out there in misery. That was just an abomination. Did somebody say abomination vaults? Oh, just kidding. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, maybe Riddleson's bad, but what about like the gray-haired guy and and the lady in the kitchen? Yeah, no, we need to help them out. They're they're obviously struggling. And the best way to do that is to learn more about Doctor Riddleson, which I have a feeling are on the documents in your bag. 
It's probably more secret doors over here. Islas, can you start knocking on the walls? Maybe there's another secret door or something. She's going to, like, periodically just start going up and down this corridor, knocking on walls. I guess I'm doing this uh, seek action. Oh, you, can, you can roll me a secret perception trying to... Uh, it'll take a while if you are to find any secret doors. So roll me a secret perception to see how long it takes. Eventually, you either find one or you don't. Depends on how fast you're about it. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Nat 20, okay, baby. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, while it's the search of secret doors, what do you guys do? Well, now that there's a pile of papers and scrolls on the floor, Jordan, Jordan is going to start organizing them as best he can and start perusing them. Well, uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, you guys are going to... Uh, well, Jordan, there's around, I want to say hundreds, if not thousands of pieces of paper. Unfortunately, Russell, when he grabbed them, if I recall correctly, did I recall correctly? Mm -hmm. What's that? What, which specific when you, part? The part where you... Oh, I was putting on webcam. Sorry. When you put the papers in, you stuck them randomly? Pretty much. Yep. It's going <laughs> to take an hour to sort these papers out. Thank you, Musical Beat. <laughs> Look, I, I say it's we gonna go... It's going to take at least an hour to sort these papers out, and then probably hours to read them all. Listen, listen, Sorry. listen. How about this? Right. We know where this is now. Okay. And we know where upstairs is too. What we don't know is where Dr. Riddleston is. But R Dr. Riddleston doesn't necessarily know that we know that we, he has this thing down here. So, how about we go upstairs, pretend this whole thing's, you know, not happening, have a drink, and wait till this whole thing blows over. Dr. Riddleston comes back. And then we have a little chat after we've been reading these things in secret. I can do a great amount of distraction tactics with all the house guests and all that kind of stuff. Was you, Slot? Have a little study session. I might be better going on. distracting too, because I have a hard enough time acting normal when everything is normal. And yeah, I'm and you can't that. read either. No. I can well, read, I... just not very well. <laughs> but, but this isn't like that okay. horrible ruined city or anything. Don't places like this have like guards or people that take care of bad people? Um, I, I think we need to know what's going on first, because if we say guards, we just went into someone's secret chamber where there was a lot of traps and they nearly stopped us going in there. It just sounds like we're the bad guys a little bit right now if we tried to explain this to anyone else. How does that make any sense? Well, what would you say to make them think, oh, okay, we need to stop Dr. Riddleston? I, well, I, he's been taking people and hurting them and making these things. Aren't, aren't those things crimes i mean we do have the skulls of people but yeah but we also broke into a secret lair isn't that also a crime i don't know also, is, is it we might have corrupted oh. the whole chain of evidence and everything since we were around here traipsing around i mean who's to say we didn't put the skulls here what does that Not even mean i thought riddleson was the bad more... guy no, Riddleston is the bad. Look, I, I think you're onto something, Russell. I, I think we just need, if we know what's going on more, we can, we can better sort this out with the authorities. Also, and stuff. I'm sorry, I did not mean to interrupt you. But yeah, uh, the you, notes you know I found, better. the notes I found mentioned something about uh, Riddleston's, uh, I think, parents and sister died in a fire too, and implied that Riddleston might have had something to do with that as well. <laughs> oh, that's nice. So, you know, dude crazy, I think we got we gotta put him down hard. So we've so, been down here for what, a few hours then? You've been here for what like two two hours I would say, not too long, yeah. And right. uh, if I recall correctly, Riddleson was supposed to come back at the end of the week. Right. right. That's what I was. I was about to say. Yeah, I was about to say. We we've got an entire week until Riddleston comes back. We might be all right. 
Well, as far as they, as far as the people who told us, no, we have a we have a week, but we should probably prepare for the worst. Oh, of course. Yeah. Can't Boy, it's going to be great for us to, you know, sit around and act like everything is normal and get a good night's sleep here in the house above the murder experiment basement. Russell might be right, though. Uh, Russell, in that meantime, if we've got a whole week, we could try and loop in an investigator or someone from the local authority. I mean, we, we don't know if they're all in on it, though. I mean, to have a... He's literally using the sewers, so maybe somebody in government does know. But no, we, we can at least put out some feelers, see if we trust anyone around here. I'm not so sure I trust these decadent southern authorities, but if Russell wants to do it, I'm willing to give it a shot. I mean, my only concern is that that Balbo, Bilbo, ba Ballenberg, Battenberg, Bolin, 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 um, Bolin was, uh, you know, handed over to the authorities, and his skull is now out there. So, um, I mean, we did trust the authorities once, and. That person's now dead. This world is a horrible place, Russell. You're not wrong. <laughs> yeah, I'm you know, to learn that. now that we've explored at least, I can't speak for anyone else, but I done, you know, exhausted myself kicking helplessly against the door for a while. I puked on my feathers. I need a shower and I need some cake and I need a nap. We I'm think we're about done here. Yeah. Guys, I have moved everything you didn't loot into party loot because it's just easier to do so. Uh, you're welcome to loot it or discard it at the end of the dungeon. Um, well, which we probably yeah. want the hand, right? Yeah, I put it in party loot, but yeah, you, you you can grab it from party loot and stick it in. You can grab all the stuff you missed out on, and well, not missed out that you saw but didn't loot in party loot, and just stick it in whoever's inventory whenever you get a chance. All right, yeah. uh. You guys are aware that you've done pretty much the entirety of this area. There's a couple of areas or regions you didn't necessarily explore. You're welcome to do so if you want to do that now. Uh, the notable areas are, I think, if I'm not mistaken, just because I think, think you see the entire map, somewhere above here, uh, and then you didn't do the dreaming room uh, thing that you were wanting to do. So let me know if you want to do that or you're tired and want to just go back upstairs. Up to you all. I think that nice floating snake thing gave us everything I needed to know from the dreaming room. <laughs> uh, hey, that gray hair oh, guy's not going to try to hurt us, is he? Uh, potentially. Yep, potentially. I don't know. I thought he was pretty polite. Normally, when we find, you know, some sort of eldritch beings from beyond in the past, they've tried to, you know, kill us pretty much immediately. They're, they're kind of assholes. That one was quite pleasant, I thought, by, you know, Eldritch thing from beyond standards. Also, I don't understand all the magic stuff properly or anything, but can does that mean Riddleson can use the gates to move around or something? Mm, that is a good question, actually. I wouldn't put it outside the realm of possibility. Was Riddleson a gatewalker? I forget. He had the, the yes. symbol. Wow. See... Bolin was a bit mad, and that should have been our warning that maybe Riddleston wasn't was a bit, you know, two shillings less of a halfpence. Um, I mean, look at Jardin. So, I think maybe there's yeah. a, a problem with all gate walkers. <laughs> <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> Do you all head upstairs? I think yeah. so. Yeah. yeah, I think, yeah. We would want to go up back upstairs. It's around 2 p.m. You head upstairs. Mr. Olwyn's still resting, as you told him to do so after a nap. And the servants, not enough of them around to even run into one. If you are to run into the showers and, well, baths and take a small bath before uh, you... I would say effectively have the rest of the day at this point. All right. Uh, I'm going to say 2.30 by the time you get back up and maybe clean yourselves off a little bit so you don't feel look as stinky before appearing other around other people and not to speak for you guys, but I'm assuming most of you would do that. Yes. 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 Yeah. yes. Okay. I so, assume we tell uh, Sakawachi what's been going on. 
Uh, I assume so too. Uh, yeah. it, it feels bad if we don't. We gotta try and trust her, even if we don't thoroughly trust her. We yeah. gotta try. And it's possible that there's some verbiage in these papers that we don't understand that she might be able to help with. It's just the fact that Dr. Rittleson said told us to trust Sakawachi. That makes me not trust Sakawachi. That's right, isn't it? Dr. Rittleson said Sakawachi like, is a good one to follow what they're saying. Yes. Yeah. Essentially. We got that I... in a note in, in, in Igeti, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. I thought she wasn't Sakawachi anymore, though. No, she's Snowy Owl. Yeah, that's right. My bad. Does that mean she's like a different person? Um, no, just different name, I suppose. Identity is a long discussion to discuss. Don't, don't worry about that one right now. Uh, I just want to go outside. Oh, that's okay. Uh, uh, I'll come with you, Russell, if, if you like, or do you want to be alone? Sure, you can come. Uh, Islos gives like a look to help me, kind of like I'm just gonna go look after them. And uh... I understand. I think I'm she, gonna go uh... try and find some cake. She uh, she wraps a little tendril around your hand, squeezes it for a second, and then starts walking off. So. Now, what you guys can or cannot do is up to you. If you want to speak to Snowy Owl, you can make your way to her room. She is currently... Is that a room? She's at a table. I don't know. I, this, is, this, is a, this would be her room. It's just a little awkward of a battle map. But feel free to go join her and knock on her door and see what she's up to if you want to do that. Oh, and uh, I guess if Islos and Russell want to have a moment, I didn't mean to interrupt. Feel free to do that as well. No, I mean, I was going to... You can just type it out if you like. Yeah, you like. if you guys want to type it out, yeah, that would be that would be. Because because yeah. Russell is pretty much she's kind of detached from all of this whole thing. She just wants to relax. She's gonna heal up with some fruit. She doesn't really yeah. care about like, being bathed, but she's gonna hang out with Ball and Islo and so try to feel a little bit better. I was about to say out of character, like I just want to make sure that there is a way for us to try and make Russell feel better. Yeah, like it's or is like she signed out at this point. <laughs> No, no, I think she's just, anything. she's more in shock than she is, like, okay. spiraling into depression. Got you. She's just kind of processing. Uh, Greetings, I'll... Jordan. Oh, yes. I was, I was just going to check on Elvin first to make sure Elvin's still asleep. Uh, you peek through the door. He is currently snoring. Perfect. Hello, Jordan. Trey. Donovan. Pray. Who's Pray. Help me. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. How can I help you? Um, um. <laughs> Go on, Jardin. Yeah, we uh we made some discoveries um in another part of part of the house. We would like to enlist your assistance with some stuff. Yeah, could you just uh, try could you just try on these manacles we found first though? <laughs> 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 Before we continue, would you relate everything you've discovered to Snowy Owl? Some, so we don't have to speak it out. Whatever you've, whatever you've found, it's it's a question. Would you like to withhold some information? Do you actually want to role play what you tell her? Up to you guys. Uh, I can just wouldn't necessarily want to. Yeah, I wouldn't necessarily want to tell her everything, but like I'd leave out the abominations. Okay. Um, and the sleeping, the sleeping gas. I would leave leave that out, and the the torture room, just basically gl glass over it. There's a secret uh, network of tunnels below. We found in a hidden office, and these papers. And I'll start pulling them out. She will mention one thing. I sense you have a strange <clears throat> artifact amongst you. Rumi's telling me this. I. Are you sure you're not leaving something out of this? Um, so I'm gonna be honest. Yes, I yes I am. Um, because we, yeah, we feel are. it's important at this moment. Um, but these papers, I have a feeling, are. 
But what, what's your relationship like with um, Dr. Rittleston? How, how does he know you? I have never seen that man before in my life. So the fact that he seems to know me seems even stranger. And, right, because uh, he, he told us to apologies. trust you. No, go on, help me. Sorry about that. What's your relation like with the Salmon Car? My grandmother was a good friend with one. Oh, right. Um, well, I, I, I gotta hand it to you. Then we might have a problem. <laughs> That's a hero point, actually. It's a pretty good point. <sighs> Disgusting. <laughs> Uh, they yeah. probably will look with all seven eyes meaningfully at Jordan about the uh, the hand. I don't mean to pour more problems off to you like this, hey. but uh, there's a... I can... That's a villain point. <laughs> <laughs> you, you do a good pun? Sure, if you try to... <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead, Jordan. Jeez, I already uh, have three. Get out of here. Somebody else has, a, has the hand. They're telling me, not me. It's in the party uh, loot if you want. Yeah. Helmy uh, will. Helmy will. Unless Darden tells her not to, Helmy will show Snowy Owl the hand. Uh, um, you grab it and before Darden can say anything, go ahead. That hand. I'm reading her. I. Interesting. I. Observe that this is a fragment that is an important tie with my visions, that it must be returned to the north, where it was taken from. And, and are you, you going to have any problems with it if, if hypothetically speaking, you and I find Dr. Riddleson, we chop his head off and put it on the pack? Considering most of what you've told me, although I could... I don't think that's murder material, is it? He hasn't tortured or killed anyone. <laughs> How many really poker faces are not good? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I guess we might as well just come out and say it then. Um, there were, there was evidence of uh, kidnapping, torture, and Transmutation of living beings below. That seems like a bad person to me. I don't know this, Riddleson. I only know things you've told me about them. If in your well, judgment you think that deserves him to die, which from what you've told me, that is a fair assessment. Well, then... Do you recognize... I'm oh, sorry, go ahead. No. Then do what you will. You are no strangers to battle. You are no strangers to... Well, I don't want to say murder. I don't think you've actually murdered somebody. But if they are bad people, they should be stopped. Sorry, what were you saying? Um, do you recognize this? And Jordan will hold up the mask with the, oh, the fur mask. That's the one I saw in my dream. That horrible dream. Yeah, us two. And it yes, was in I Riddleson's believe... office. I believe we discussed this once upon a time. I had the same dream. We've all had the same dream of a strange man in a mask and furs. I don't if that is Dr. Riddleson, then I do not like his aura. That was very terrifying. Even more that reason to put a stop to him. She but we, looks, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. I was say, but we did uh, discover a room full of notes. Unfortunately, they got mixed up in a bag, and we need to kind of sort them out. I have a feeling that this could give us some insight into who or what Dr. Riddleson is. I'm happy to help you sort them if you need to. I've been sitting in this room all day pondering my future, and unfortunately, it still remains in the north. I want to stop this great evil. I do hope you accompany me there. Um, and the Lich Gate is nearby. So whenever well, you are done will... with this Riddleson business, yeah, I was, I was uh, going to say that I think that will de depend upon what we discover here and 
how we absolutely deal with them. Let's get to work. Okay. Do you pull out all the papers and start uh, through? I do. All right, guys. This is going to be it's two thirty. This is going to be an all-day activity, eight hours of downtime, effectively. All right. Uh, it could technically be more faster if more people assist, or slower if only one person is doing it. I am assuming eight hours with the whole party, maybe four people, if uh, Russell's not interested in reading, uh, to uh, read through the information, but minimum four people. Well, I guess Snowy Owl counts as one, so if one of you other player characters wants to abstain, you're welcome to. Uh, but at least four people rooting through thousands of pages of notes would take an eight-hour downtime activity to get through the information sorted here. Let me know who is volunteering or who is not, to be more precise. Uh, Helmy will try to distract the uh, servants and other gatewalkers from... Uh looking in on what everyone else is doing. Tell me, after a few minutes, or after maybe in an hour, uh, an indeterminate amount of time, you realize that Olwyn's been conked out and uh, maybe might check on you in a few hours. But for the most part, there are so few servants here due to Dr. Riddleson's, uh lack of funds, or lack of funds for servants, to be more specific, that they are not going to bother you. Nobody cares. Is then for the long term, yeah. Then for the party, Helmy will make the ultimate sacrifice and read. <laughs> Roman intelligence check. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, no, this does not require a check. It's just reading, guys. Uh, depending on how your character reads, it's either fast reading or slow reading. No reading if you don't know how to read. I don't know. Hey, good role play, but uh, would you like to pipe in, Onovan, Russell? Yeah, no, I'm I'm happy to read. You're happy to read, and uh, uh, Eric. I mean, maybe. The thing is, yes. the role I think is. maybe Russell would give it a few hours before she goes in and helps. Okay, Cass, you're reading. Cass is AFK at the moment. Cass is indeed stepping away for a minute. Um, tell you what, I'm gonna brew some tea. Uh, you can wrap a little, a little role play up if you'd like. I'm just going to brew it and then steep it. Uh, and then I'll get to the information. So uh, I'll consider this as part of my break. So, uh, But I don't want to interrupt role play. So you guys can continue if you'd like. I'll just uh, leave the leave this recording on. Leave this thing on. I will be back. Brew some tea and uh, resume. If you need to take a break, you can though. All right. Bye-bye. So help me on this on this page, you see, you see this drawing. It looks almost like what we fought down there. I do see the drawing. Yeah. Now does that go in this pile or the pile in front of Snowy Owl? Uh, because it's got a nice drawing on it, I think I want it. I mean, <laughs> we're trying to put the stuff together so that we can decipher it. Yeah, but I'm going to have an easier time deciphering that one than I am something that's full of a whole lot of dense words that bounce everywhere. Okay, well, we'll, we'll add it to the pile in front of you then. Maybe there's ones, like, ones with pictures or something. You know what, <laughs> <laughs> What? You're very... being serious! I feel very self-conscious <laughs> about this, okay? <laughs> I've never been very good at reading, and people used to call me stupid for it, and it only got even worse when I had extra eyes grow in, and the world kept bouncing around even more. Oh, you're not stupid because you don't know how to read. That's not the reason you're stupid. <laughs> you see all seven of Helmy's eyes tear up. <laughs> now, now, we need, we need Helmy's, Helmy's help. No, of course we I, to, I never said we don't. Run away. It, like Helmy would run away from everything, only towards things. She's ferocious. I'm just very particular. Going to full health, then? Yeah. I, I do yeah. feel like we can go to full health. Go to full health and uh, eventually long rest. But we'll, Sick. We'll, eventually, not right now. Uh, if you have nothing to do during this time, 
you may as well start off. I don't know, open up a path builder, checking out a level nine character build, and start building that up. It's already done. All right. Well, you know, just let me. Uh, I'm almost done with <laughs> brew. Well, I gotta brew my tea, steep my tea, and come back, and then explain what's on the notes. Um, while I'm gone though, just gonna hand wave the. Well, uh, well, you can role play, but like when I come back, I'll give you the information. But you guys are effectively sorting through papers and spending eight hours reading them. When I come back, I will give you the information that you so not so desperately seek. So feel free to role play while I brew my tea, and then when I come back, I will give you the information. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Russell's just gonna try to go for the easy stuff. Maybe if there's okay. something like not completely unpleasant, like oh, these are really cool flowers. They do mind stuff. Well, we have an innocuous pi a pile, so a pile of papers that seems rather mundane. We have a pile of um, more alarming things. And then we have a pile of just downright disturbing. Um, oh, is that your journal again there, Jardin? Hey, leave my journal out of Are those your sketches. That's, that's, that's private. <laughs> you also find a badly written fan fiction about a couple of <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> Ancient elven gates for dummies. <laughs> Oh, it looks like he was trying to write a play of some sort. Wow, this is very dark. That's a very intimate description of a Yeti. <laughs> I bet my grandma would have liked reading that. Man, judging by some of these papers, he has some serious mommy issues. I mean, it. I feel like a lot of villains do, right? I mean, most people, they, you know, run into a little bit of difficulty in life. They, you know, cry a little bit. They get drunk, and maybe they get into a fist fight. But they don't go out and start, you know, a whole magical crusade of evil and darkness. That ain't normal, yeah. right? Like, is. No. Is hair really important to humans or something? So, yes. There's like four stacks of ways to grow hair. That seems weird. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I mean, he is bald, so maybe... <laughs> maybe he's self-conscious self about his lack of hair. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Holding. Um, Holding. There he is. There he is. Hell yeah. That's definitely a man who's angry that he's no. bald. <laughs> if we want to think back to Dr. Richardson a second, did any of us actually think he was a good guy at he, the start? He does look like a super villain, doesn't he? He does look well, like a pretty bad guy, yeah. At I mean, the at time... time... I mean, at the time, I mean, we were all confused by the time we lost and the and all that. So I guess he probably looked better than he does now because we were kind of grasping at straws. Although, I mean, Russell doesn't know what people are supposed to look like. I mean, Onovan's got pink hair. What about my pink so hair? And Helmy has seven eyes. I mean, yeah, but if my hair wasn't pink, I'd die. So I don't her, think that's like her baseline is very warped at this stage. Is this shit on Helmy Day? Helmy says as he begins to tear up again. Wait, are you trying to bleach my hair? What did I miss? What? I was thinking about his face. What? What did, what did I miss? No, tell me we're not. He's Russell isn't picking on 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 you. He's just trying to establish a baseline of what other you know bipedal species look like or Can value. I, help you, Jordan? <laughs> I think you look great. Oh, uh, thank you, Slows. I I don't know why. People mind so much about what folks look like anyway, but if I had to choose like any to look like anyone, I, I'd want to look like Helmy. Helmy blushes a lot. 
I mean, you That's both okay. got like the like the head feathers, right? I like, like my feathers like, now. Like but... your heads look very similar. That's all. Minus I like the, that. Minus the eyes. Um, guys, I forgot to enable a module, but I forgot this existed, and it's actually really, really cool. So let me do that right now because I want to. Uh, I was going to do an announcement on the server, but I want to tell you guys about the raise your hand module. Uh, not that it probably needed in this group, but the raise your hand module is one simple module that if there seems to be, well, you it's 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 uh you raise your hand if you want to speak. It's oh, super simple. So if you have something that you might want to interrupt someone, someone with. Yeah, effectively, if somebody's having a, you know, somebody's monologuing, you want to be like, hey, or if it, Pablo's monologuing, you want to be like, hey, or don't think of it as a um, interruption. Think of it as uh, electronic body language, because if we're on a table, somebody might, we might be like, you know, like right. just being there and. So I uh, just I would just want to be very clear on that. Make sure you don't you aren't too shy about raising your hands here. Uh, if you go to the lo uh, once you load in, yep, there you go. I also can enable the setting to enable an X card, which I will do. The X card only goes to me. All right, uh, X card is if there's something going on that just doesn't vibe, you can stop whatever's going on. Oh, That's there bad. it is. Yeah, let me enable the X card. And let me enable. Uh, yeah, just the UI notification. Oh, it's got to reload again. Whoops. Sorry. Reloading one more time. It'll give you an X card. If you guys need an X card, uh, or does anybody know what, not know what an X card is? Uh, basically, you're, you're just like, uh, we're kind of getting off the rails. Um, that's no, it's, that's, that's, way. that's, no, it's more like, hey, I don't like this content. Pablo, stop. If I'm oh, describing yeah. torture, if I'm describing, um, I don't know, a, a, a scene, a romantic scene that's going too far, whatever it is, or you just don't like spiders, hit the X card, and I will... It's like, you know those it. giant machines <laughs> where you put check-ins in and check-in nuggets come out, and there's a big red button on it that says stop? <laughs> for real, though, if people don't like spiders, I need to know that for the Strength of Thousands campaign. Oh my fucking god, alright. Well... <laughs> okay, you and I might have a problem. <laughs> All right. Uh, regardless, the raise your hand is. I was gonna. The reason I just thought of it is like, oh, did somebody just push the X card? Don't push the X card. It gives a loud Why beeping does it noise. Do that? <laughs> gives me a loud beeping noise. Um, the reason I said about the raise the hand thing is, there was a. Oh yeah, no. Uh, super easy. Uh, when everybody's done, role playing, raise your hand, and we'll move on to the information. It is also another way of using it. So. Uh, yeah. yeah so whenever you whenever you feel like hey uh i'm done like i i feel like move, po having Pablo move on and you can not raise your hand don't peer pre don't feel peer pressure when i keep role-playing but uh i guess continue and then raise your hand whenever you feel like me, you want me to move on so also feel peer pressure because yeah if somebody raised their hand don't pass the oh x days. card oh my you're gonna have to uninstall it pablo this is gonna happen <laughs> constantly no but like really like, like legit don't abuse it because it is like a it's a proper thing we should be it is a useful about thing to it. have yeah it is very useful so hey what are you guys talking about what's chili Ch how's it spelled uh the curvy one the one that looks like a chair. The, curvy one. <laughs> the little circle with the line on it. No way. Here. So when you got a lot of spices and a bunch of goat meat and you're ready to cook something that's, you know, hot for the winter, uh, you get all of the, them spices, some, you know, onion. Some people put beans in them, but I, I think that's not the way to go. Uh, though if you have dried beans, you can put them in it. The, the purists don't do that. Uh, you put them spices, some, uh, in particular, some chili powder, which is, you know, some smoked, you know, hot peppers. And uh, mix one that. second. One second. Sorry. Bonus, if you raise your hand, it doesn't show on the bottom left, apparently. Or did you unraise it? Raise your hand. I think my name is too big. Yeah. 
I think it's what your fucking name is, Hughes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, right, Autobot well. doesn't get to raise their hand. Yeah, there you go. All right, sorry, continue uh, explaining Chili to Russell Trey. And then you, you, you put it all together and you eat it. Sometimes on like some bread or stuff if you got any, sometimes not. Uh, it is a particular... We're particularly fond of it in cold places because it's, you know, it'll warm you up. But also hot places like it because they have easy access to some of the ingredients. Uh, the one thing I will say is if you're planning on having yourself a romantic interlude, I wouldn't recommend eating, eating a whole lot of it. Oh, so Jordan, well, I don't... Jordan grabs the paper and he sees that it's chilly with a Y and he says, oh, that just means cold. <laughs> Ah, I'm oh. trying to get airport. <laughs> 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 oh shit! Amazing. Get the hero point, Jordan. Go to three. No, I, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yes. Bo bonus. Can I help you? I'm. I'm ready to move on to the information. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Let's move on. Unraise your hands, guys. That's fine. Uh, hey. Uh, unraise them because uh, we, we you can use these two. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pop. Look. I will disable this module and then you know we lose a quality of life thing. All right, guys. Edward Lab Secrets. This is a lore dump, and it's a huge ass lore dump. Who's talking as a servant? Why are you talking as a servant? It was an accident. Oh. I tried to talk as humbly, and then I talked as. How are you one. allowed to talk as a servant? That I think is I a guess... good question. Yeah. All right. Edwards Labs has a wealth of information. Hi. The more you just. <laughs> Carry on. I thought I was going to be the servant too, but it just made up. <laughs> the more you read. <laughs> Hold on. Is Cyril okay, by the way? He just left and did not come back. I don't care. I don't care. Damn. <laughs> you burn one mannequin and you get all salty. Yeah. All right. The more you read, the more you the more you feel prepared for the future. Oh dear. The lore dump is massive, and I will ha be forced to put all of this in. <laughs> what is going on? I have no idea. <laughs> the lore dump is massive. <laughs> Oh, somebody's mind's in the gutter, got it. <laughs> just carry on, please. You can't just stop. Just No, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be the disappointed professor and just wait until these students have Alright, 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 alright. Hey guys, this is going to be a lot of information. So I will post this in notes at notes Sunday when I'm done. Pay attention if you'd like, and if you want to zone out, you're welcome to. The first journal explains Audara. Audara are the elf gates, the ones you have traveled through. These notes detail Edward's investigations into Audara's and the relationship to the missing moment. The notes indicate that he's been spending a lot of time at Lichgate. And also include directions to this location from Lepidstad. The notes also describe how one can use the Moonstone, a Moonstone, to activate Lichgate to travel to the Ice Gate in the Crown of the World. I give a little respite here. You have discovered a vital piece of information. One, where Dr. Wilson is right now. Two, what the Moonstones are for. Three, how to get to the north, which is, we already kind of knew that. If you guys want to discuss anything, let me know. Otherwise, I'll move on. Uh, let Is us it... know when we can hit the rest button. Hmm? Can you let us know when we can hit the rest button? The long rest button? Yeah. Once you're done with all these notes and you're done with everything. All right. Number two. Black Frost. These notes describe the physical effect of 
Black Frost, which I will put in chat. And I'll put it in the notes as well. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, screenshot, post. Boast about Edward's immunity to Black Frost. Mention its capacity to create Black Frost zombies and ruminate upon the true nature of the curse. Theorizing that Osoyo's dreams may be the source of the ash-like substance. The fact that Black Frost seems to progress more quickly when an afflicted creature dreams has further intrigued Edward, although he's not sure yet to what to make of this observation. Number three, dreams. Here, Edward details how ever since the missing moment, he's been able to invade the dreams of other gatewalkers. These notes further reveal how... Obsessed, he's become with dreams and his quest to find a way to travel through the legendary dreamlands, where he believes he will be reunited with his missing memories and become much more powerful. Feel free to interrupt him at any moment by raising your hand and I'll let you speak. Just a heads up. Number four, Gatewalkers. These notes provide a full list of all the Gatewalkers he's watched through dreams, including you all. Any Gatewalkers they've encountered, and in particular, Queen Equendia of Skywatch. Does anybody remember Skywatch? Yes. Remember her city being abandoned? Yes. Turns out she's a gatewalker. His descriptions of her leading the city's population north on a dangerous journey to the crown of the world are tinged with admiration and jealousy. It's obvious Edward wishes he commanded this level of servitude of a large group of people. The notes conclude with him wondering if the queen has even reached the nameless spires and ponders what she might now, now be, question mark. After spending time a bit, the Black Frost and Dreams of Osoyo. Number five, the guest. These notes describe how Edward found a partial, oversized, mummified hand in his belongings when he woke from his missing moment, and how he's been growing the hand back into a full body. He calls the resulting creature the guest and describes the containment chamber he built in area Yada. These notes also reveal the uses of the three levers in that room, which I already described. Six, mind harvesting. These notes detail how Edward has been harvesting the minds of gatewalkers and infusing their memories and psychic powers. Yes, Jordan. So we're okay. So he's trying to grow something from that mummified hand. He did, and you he fought did. it. You fought yeah. It. Okay. Right. Yeah. Effectively. Good and he has and, the delusions hmm. of grandeur. He absolutely does. Yes. Number six, mind harvesting. These notes detail how Edward has been harvesting the minds of gatewalkers and infusing their memories and psychic powers into Lich Gate. So, harvesting gatewalkers' minds, infusing them into the Audara. He hopes to use the Audara to merge their psychic energies with his own, so then he can stand before Osoyu at the Nameless Spires and use it as hand's power to free the entity from its prison. The notes include names of previously harvested gatewalkers and include your names with an extra note observing how the potential in the dream of these final pawns may be the greatest of them all. You were targeted. Yes, yes. John. So he wants to free Osoyo. Snowy Owl wants to keep Osoyo trapped in the ice. Correct. Okay. Got it. Correct. Correct, correct, correct. Good. Good. Good questions. Nameless Spires. Edward notes detail how he's come to believe that he's made an expedition to the Nameless Spires during his missing moment. He has he believes he has made an expedition to the Nameless Spires during his missing moment. And he's concluded that if he can return there and dream in the spires vicinity, he will be granted entry to the DM lands and gain all the power he wants. Number eight, Ogmunzorius, the strange tentacle creature you've encountered. The discovery of a strange hand pales against Edward's discovery of a strange presence within his laboratory. Edward theorizes that Ogmunzorius is ascending from Osoyo's dreams and takes the entity's presence as proof that he is some sort of chosen one. Edward thinks he's a chosen one. 
intended to release Osoyo from its prison for return for even greater mental powers. And in fact, even the key to reaching the dreamlands. The notes also mention how Ogman Zorius assisted Edwards in, 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 in attempting to ensure guardians for the laboratory, but these creatures were untrustworthy and were dismissed. Number nine, Osoyo. Edwards notes go round and round, theorizing on what Osoyo might be. An alien? Question mark. An undead, mar undead god? Question mark. The collective quest consciousness of the long dead builders of the nameless spires, his own mind projecting back to guide him. These and wilder theories fill pages, for throughout it all shines Edwards' obsession. His fear that if he's not the one to release Osoyo, he will go unrewarded. This fear becomes eclipsed near the end of the notes by the greatest fear that the, that you guys might seek to put a, push Osoyo back into its prison, thus stripping all gatewalkers of their powers. This is where you learn that there is a potential to lose your gatewalker powers <laughs> if you put Osoyo back in their prison. <clears throat> Last but not least, the vanished yurt. Yurt is a small tent. Edward notes in many places that more than memories were missing during his missing moment. There are gaps in his fortune as well, indicating that he spent a fair amount of money during the missing moment. His investigations have revealed that his money went towards financing an expedition to the Nameless Spire. But the apparent loss of one of his family's greatest treasures on Explorer's Yurt intrigued him the most. He secured a scroll of discerned location and used it to make an astonishing discovery. His family's Explorer's Yurt is now located in the remote abandoned temple Remote abandoned temple devoted for, to Phil Dindalara, Fin Del Dal the Elven Goddess. That was close enough. The Elven Goddess of Architecture and Art and Twilight. This temple can be found five days' journey from Ice Skate. Yada yada. Hey guys, that's a lot of information. Now let me go ahead and copy and paste it under your notes. That is a lot of information. So let me go ahead and copy and paste it. Under notes, Sunday. There we go. Oh, that's too long for even a Discord message, apparently. So, so let's. Did I? Do, do we know what actually happened in the missing moment? Nope. You get not some yet. theories. You get some theories. So, not even some... Doctor Riddleston knows what happened in those three months. No, he. The last thing I did mention was he noticed how during the missing moment he figured out he made an expedition to the north. Effectively, he set up an expedition to. The crown of the world or something some yeah I'll, I'll post it here again oh yeah too long of a damn it seven eight nine ten there we go uh you guys have all the notes available uh at your disposal um feel free to peruse them at your free time and yes you can long rest now help me what happened with the other party at this point? Were they shocked? <clears throat> the other party? The Monday party? Yeah. I don't remember any notable reactions. Are you shocked? <laughs> I mean, no, but we kind of... <laughs> I don't know. How does everyone else feel? I mean, I'm, I'm a little shocked. I was starting to piece things together, but this kind of confirms it. They were a little bit shocked with uh, Riddleson, but the issue with this AP, if you don't mind me saying so, is that Riddleson shows up on session one and doesn't show up until now. So there is no like, oh, you betrayed us kind of deal, because who remembers the guy that yeah. happened? Nine months ago. It's, it's a bit it's a bit of a mess. But Cyril, you okay, buddy? I can't hear you. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Okay. Hopefully everything's okay, man. You missed a lot of information, but it's under notes. Yeah, so, I'm yeah? reading it now. Okay. So any questions, clarifications, comments, concerns? And if not, you know, you can you can long rest anyway, guys. Uh you can speak spend the day reading and then wake up the next morning in this house. He's not coming back for a week, but we'll, we'll just move the day forward anyway. And you are welcome to do what you would like to do. So, so everyone 
that seems to be involved in this, both the Queen and Rittleson, all want to go north. That seems to be where the answers are next. I'd say our chances of going north are pretty high, I guess. And Rittleson right now has gone to a museum. No, Rittleson's at Lich Gate. He's at the gate that Snowy Owl was like, hey, we should go to that gate to go north. He's actually at the gate, okay. using the gate somehow to harvest the minds of the gatewalkers he's already killed. Use that with the gate and enhance his own his own, uh, his own okay. Russell, should we go to the gate now or should we wait here to face him here? What do you think? Where is this gate thing? North. So. The, the gate is a couple of hours away from Lepidstad. Just a couple hours walk. It's, I mean, it's, yeah, yeah. Did did Miss Al say how? I mean, it looks like he had to kill a lot of people to use it. Can can we just go through it? It said in the notes that we just needed a moonstone, and oh. apparently you find a bunch of them. I think we have eight hundred of them. Right. Quite a few. Yeah. As far as the mines you were talking about, Russell, uh, sounds like he's trying to merge his mind with Osoyo's mind and thinks that merging the psyches of these other gatewalkers with the gate is going to allow him to do that. And it sounds very... I, I'm still trying to wrap my, my head around it. So if he went there and he's talking to this guy, this thing in the ice... What does that mean when he comes back? Does I that think mean he failed? The, the notes say he's still here. He's not actually in the north. He's in that case, we probably want to stop him from getting to the far north, right? I mean, um, I would that probably be a good idea. Alright, so, I guess if that means nobody here gets hurt. We should probably tell them what's going to happen, though. Uh, maybe not everything. Well, I mean, no. they're going to be waiting for him to come back, and and it looks like, you know, they live in his house, and they probably need him. Well, if uh, he doesn't come back, then it becomes their house, right? Oh, is that how it works? Do we have can. legal lore? <laughs> Only IRL. <laughs> I've got, got parenting law, and that tells me that that's right. I got oh, astrology okay. law. That's basically wow. legal law. It's about as useful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do we have any money? Maybe we can just pay them to keep this place going, and then we can all have this place ourselves once we're done. Currently, I have 0, 0.00 gold faces. Jardine, you've got money, don't you? Uh, I've got some. Uh, yeah, pay I these got, people. I got a gold uh, coin. Guys, uh, please, while we're just sitting here, loot stuff from the party loot. Yeah, yeah. that'd be great. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll identify I, these gloves. You guys. Have I also got. I, I got a ring as well. Yep. Uh, it, I don't like party loot anyway oh. because it you, it does it it, it it absolves encumbrance. So you know, <laughs> just start looting stuff. Oh, from... that's, that's cool. Where is party loot? Uh, press P on your keyboard and go to stash. Oh, somebody needs yeah. a hold of that hand, and I've already got you know I'm already pretty good in the cold. Uh, aside um... from that. Uh, I don't know. Do we, do we want to make a trip to the store and sell some stuff? I'm gonna be honest. I don't want to be the you know person who shows up with a whole box full of manacles saying, "Here, you can have these back." I don't think that conversation is gonna go over that well. But we could, and we should, and somebody, mm -hmm. not me, should. Um, could you identify the ring as well, Pablo? Uh, is the ring not a? It's a. It? It's in my inventory. Oh, yeah, you're good. Well, the telekinetic converters, they're cool. I mean, I don't particularly need any of this stuff. 
What do you want to yeah, do? I, I, would, I would like the gloves if no one else would like it. Sakic. Are those are those the people who you talk to about your feelings? I, I think that's a a therapist. I'm also willing to just sell the stuff and party loot if nobody loots it and just oh. get the money. Yeah. I mean I have elixirs of life. Does everybody have elixirs? Oh yeah, I've got like uh, yeah, three of them. These are moderate guys. I don't know if you have moderate ones. Uh, I have one moderate. One. I have a moderate. I have a um, lesser yeah. li life. One moderate as well. Islas can't even use. Can Islas even use the poison? Uh, is it magical? It doesn't have the which, Eidolon trait, does it? So which can she one? use it? Or? Which, which, which poison? Le Sorry. Lethargy poison, this one. Oh. Um... No. Like, can she use poisons? Yeah, and yeah, I, I, she can stick it on her hands. And well, injury, I think, is not bludgeoning, but I don't remember. Hold on, uh, I guess she doesn't have bludgeoning, she's got a slashing, so she can, you know. Um, yeah, piercing or slashing. Yeah, yeah that's, I think so both she, of her attacks are slashing. Yeah, it's not a magical item, so technically, yeah. she can use the item. Yeah, as long as it isn't also contact. There's no problem. Okay, she'll do that then. Yeah. Yeah, I've uh, taken the telekinetic converters. People are good with that. I might as well mm -hmm. sell the wine, actually. Well, if you want to... So, if you have anything you want to sell, stick it in the... Uh, what is this cost? Oh, this is an, this is the costume that he wore, guys. Mm, if you have, yeah. Oh, it's plus one cold resistant. And uh, we oh. got the cloak in there, too. Yeah, the oh, mask yeah. is this. Mask. Yeah. Are any of us good at survival? I am yes. okay. I have plus 14. I've got I'm plus okay. 14. Yeah, I got plus. I have plus 15. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> give it to give it to Russell. Russell, yeah. Is this the spooky goaty mask? Yeah. Yep, it would be the spooky goatee mask and the spooky fur costume. So, up to you if you would wear it. Should Funny story about us. goats. We don't really take. We used to go on a lot of livestock raids to Chelyax. We stopped taking the goats after a while because they kept asking our children to go kill their parents. This isn't gonna make me like <laughs> evil or want to kill people or stuff like that, right? Well, I'm not any more than you already are. No. I'm not like that, am I? No. No, that, that, no. You know, that's why I, I, I won't do it, you know. It's it's only if you already... But if you already it. were like that, it would, you know, not stop you from doing that, I suppose. I, I was thinking we should maybe give, like, Helmy or Jardin or Russell the, the hand. But, you know, I, I think Cass might actually make best use of it. What do we think? Uh, you know, I already took the, uh, the gloves, you know, I don't want to take all the loot. I'm already, you know, pretty good with coals. I think somebody who's, you know, uh, a little bit, you know, of a delicate like, southerner might want to take it. Not delicate. Or somebody who has actually cold blood. I mean, I'm we not, should I'm probably neither. take it with us when we go north because um, Snowy Owl said we, we should return it. Oh, yeah, we should carry, carry, carry the hand. Carry the All hand. Right, fine, 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 fine. I will take the ring, though. Yeah, that's a that's a good ring. Sick. And yeah, we now we know who's who's doing night watch. Uh, I I <laughs> gotta say that Cass's night watch skills left something to be desired. Back. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah, it was definitely mean. Cass and not me. Yep, I remember yeah. that well. <laughs> yeah, it definitely not, wasn't me. Like me, I got stabbed in my tent while I was sleeping because no. someone was dozing off. Uh, I don't know what you mean. I was playing cards with her at this loss. Keep okay, in mind that the Ring of Sustenance doesn't work for a week. Well, then I better put it on now. Cool. And then Does sell everything else? Sell that wine? Sell those items, items, notes, and sketches, or no? Uh, uh, is also carry those. Sure. Okay, anybody have anything they want to sell while we're doing some shopping, technically? Uh, I don't think I have anything I want to sell. Oh, yeah. Uh, this. Striking long spear because I will never use that. Yeah, uh, I think 
No, uh, no. No. Going once. Going twice. Going twice. It's 211 gold per player or just... No, no, hold on, hold on. That's not the right math. Divide by two. 527 gold total. Are we sticking stuff in there or no? Uh, uh, I'm good. Is that a one use only thing? Yeah, yeah I think so. Oh, yes, it's talisman. That's one issue. One use only. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to add 527. 5 silver. Divide that against the party. Let me delete this thing here. Staff of water, striking long spear. Staff of water? Staff yeah, I of didn't, water. I didn't sell it when I changed my staff. Ah, okay. And I have distributed the coins evenly amongst the party. And you should be 100 gold richer, give or take. Oh, You want to a... go get some cake, Islos? Yes. <laughs> so, uh, you have spent the last evening reading. Olwen would have stopped by and checked in. He looks a little out of it, but everything okay? Well, that's a lot of papers. All right, I won't bother you. Bye. <laughs> and uh, you guys would have rested in your respective rooms because... As far as you know, Dr. Rosen won't come back till next weekend. I don't think he's going to murder you in your sleep. You don't think he's going to murder you in your sleep, but does he? No, he doesn't. Um, you guys wake up the next morning, long rested, well rested. You convene, I will say, just to make things simple, in Snowy Owl's room. And what would you like to talk about, do, plan, and so forth. Hey, you did sell some stuff. I would say, you know, you one of you did an early morning shop. Let's, I don't know. One of you did an early morning shopping, sold some stuff, and came back. So, what would you like to do? Well, we should um, probably, you know, discuss heading to the gates or the gate. We, we can either wait a week for him to get here and ambush us, ambush him here, or you could go to the gate and he's presumably there and confront him directly there. I think we shouldn't fight him on home turf here anyway. I, I don't think he'll be expecting us here as much as he won't be expecting us there. So maybe we just go there and confront him. I tend to agree. We don't want our foe to, you know, uh, we want to steal a march on our foe, not the other way around. Plus, we don't know how many of these servants or other gatewalkers would come to his aid if prompted or beguiled. Is anyone opposed to going after him at the gate? Nope. No. No. Captain Jordan has spoken, I suppose. Good job, Captain yeah. Jordan. Let's go. By, by the way, does anybody have like 300 of those gold pieces I could borrow? 300? Or something like that. Um, This place is supposed to be like really cold, right? It's right. a little cold, yeah. Uh, there's this guy, this guy with the hammer who says that he can make my armor uh, be more resistant to cold. Oh. But I don't have enough of those gold pieces. Oh, uh, sure. You can. I, I, I got 18 platinum pieces. Uh, I don't have... I think you need still 12 of those or 120 more gold. But I can spot 12 platinum pieces as well. Okay, there you go. Oh, that's great. Unless you guys need them. No, I was going to start looking through the catalog here, but uh, it saves me having to flick through. Yeah, the only thing I'd like to do is something to put a little bit of fire on my weapon in case it's, you know, useful up in the cold north, but uh, I don't think I got enough cash for that. Well, I got 14 gold pieces for you there. I, I think I need more like... Uh, uh, 500 for it, so I'm just going to rely on my brawn, as I have been. That's fair enough. Also, my feathers. I am well insulated. I, I can put question, this yeah. uh, poison on your weapon if you need. Can I sell Rolls the room that cloak? comes off? 
Tested? Cold resistance on it? Does the uh, cloak have resistance on it? Or cold resistance? Oh, they are the explorer's clothing. I thought it had cold resistance. Oh, yeah, the the, the, explorer, the, the explorer's clothing does have cold resistance. I'll just transfer that. Oh, it was sold it, so... It's been sold. I gave plenty yeah. of warnings. Things were gonna get sold, guys. Pablo. Okay. What? Can you, if a rune gets removed from something, could you sell that rune? Yeah. Uh, so... What are you trying to get? The cold-resistant rune? I was gonna replace the shadow rune on my armor with a cold-resistant rune. Okay, um... I think there was, if the cold res energy resistant is, you're getting energy resistant, or what is it? What's it? Yeah, energy resistant cold. Okay, that's 420 gold. The yeah. uh, the thing that you sold was 160, which means that it was integrated into the costume. All right, you either wear the costume with the rune, or... No, no, no. I want to buy a, a new cold resistant energy. You just want to buy a new cold just... resistant rune. Okay, which means you want, sorry, uh, what was your question again? If if I replace the shadow rune on my armor, can I sell that as part of the cost? Yeah, you can sell that for fifty percent. Fifty percent. I'm hearing myself echo. Serial, everything. Serial. Serial. Did do you leave? Uh, he's trying to talk. He's just. I can't hear him. No, I'm I'm talking, and it's echoing yeah, through his it's, mind. Yes, it's echoing like through. Didn't I? Hope he's Alvis. Okay, hope you're okay, Serial. Uh, I am. I'm gonna mute him, server mute him, for now. Yeah, because it is that going. So, okay. Um, yes. Uh, you have a shadow rune. Is that what you said you had? Yeah. Okay. So, so it I costs need 120 extra gold pieces. Is all. I need. Hold on one second. Shadow. What is the what is the money on shadow? 55. So I'm gonna make this. 55 and that's what it costs or that's what it will sell for that's its base price so you divide that by two all right so you're gonna need um if the energy resistance 420 you're gonna need 420 and the transfer call no oh he was a temp the blacksmith fee sorry plus another you're gonna need 462 total sorry 462 about okay the, tr the transfer cost yeah so what I need, um, then I need an extra 310. Give or take. I don't have that. It's fine. I need 310. I gave you 18. Ooh. Okay. I gave you 180. If Anaman gave me 180. And I gave you 120. So you that's 300. So you need 10? Uh, and... Yeah, it looks like. I okay, I'll give you 10. Nope. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Uh, I hope you guys have subtracted the gold and you've added it. Yeah, uh, I did the gold already. So uh, let me double well, check. Uh, Eighteen. Russell, plus. you have a hundred and fifty. Wait, you only have hundred and fifty coins. Did you add the platinum? Yeah. Uh... I'm gonna give you eighteen platinum. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't yeah. Sorry, I was. Add, add the coin so I can do this properly. Yeah, Russell, please. So they gave right. me that. 460. Perfect. Um, Now, remove the shadow for 55 divided by 2. Go to add 27 gold and 5 silver. I'll go to the shadow. If it lets me. Go. At 27 gold, 5 silver, Russell. Perfect. Now, remove 20 times 1.1. Remove 462. And then I will um, add the uh, cold resistant. I already around. changed the number. Okay, cool. Uh, lastly, this will take eight hours. Uh -oh. So, uh, which is fine. It's not a big deal. It doesn't matter what time you guys technically go to Let's Get. Uh, if you guys want to do anything for. Sorry, you said 462? 
462 gold. Uh, it's a bit of a day of shopping, but yeah, that's okay. Uh, anybody want to... Oh, we only have 400 coins total amongst the party, so you could technically buy another 400 wealth, but I don't think that's a... Uh, 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 yeah, that's fine. Would you guys head towards the Lich Gate? Yeah. Lich Gate. Okay. Snowy Owl accompanies you. One more plot beat. Uh, Snowy Owl will talk to her friends, Imuma, Ulikuk, and Danigi, and tell them to stay in Lepidstad. Um, let me double check what she tells them, because at this point in time, uh, she will say that I I think if we're all going to the north you're gonna have you're gonna be outclass. It would be best if you stayed here and when this is all done I'll return as soon as I can. Try to Oh oh sorry mm. you'll accompany to the ice skate but instead of accompanying me, us to the nameless spire, she tells her friends, go southeast and return to our village and report on all that we have done. The three NPCs will agree solemnly. They're a little tearful as well, but nervous also, but they will be fine with that. So, uh, and as you guys head towards the Lich Gate, I'll give you a bit of a description here. Let's get, let's get, let's get, let's get, let's get. The Lich Gate is... Where's my world map? <coughs> so if Lepis Stat is here, Lich Gate's right at the entrance of Shutterward. A couple of hours walk at most. So it'll be 6 p.m. by the time we get there. The next thing I want to mention, I keep losing my PDF here. <laughs> Um, okay, let's get you on the map. Should be not able to see anything, and that's fine. I will give you a brief description when I put your tokens here. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Mostly um, collapsed. Mostly collapsed towers and crumble walls overgrown by foliage subtly mark the transition of woodland into elven ruins. The spires of Lichgate themselves are relatively intact. Once travelers of the Aldara network would <clears throat> gather and share stories and trade in these chambers. From what you've read, Litchgate connects to multiple portals, but now only to Ice Gate. Edward is nowhere to be seen. Although you see a tent that seems to hold very little information, I would say. They would just hold uh, uh, his very bare necessities to kind of... Uh, make his way forward so not uh, a yurt right no he he was missing the yurt uh you will see tr arctic travel supplies now that i think about it uh and uh, hmm. you will see four guards uh Lost my tokens. One second. Yep. They fucking broke. One second, please. Just gonna set those up here. Go. I guess their tokens are a little wonky, but the point is they are. 
four guards that as you approach will peek their head outside. Uh, lich gate's off limits. One of the guards mentions. Uh, oh, why is that? Could you repeat that, Anuman? Uh, why is that? Uh, this is a dangerous area. Ruined rubble and, uh, there's uh, some investigations going on inside as well. Oh, we're part of the investigations at the moment. Only deception. Okay. Uh, let's just uh, click on the skill. I don't need to do a special action, do I? Just a deception, please. Yep. Oh, wait, are you here to speak with Edward? Yes, yes. Uh, we're some clients of his. Oh, ah. Okay, okay, okay. Um, uh, come on inside then, I guess. Edward's, uh, yeah. Follow us, please. I mean, we knew where to find him, so <laughs> I'm glad mm. he's got company like you. What's your name, sorry? Mm. Your name, uh, Zed. Uh, We've not even introduced ourselves. Yes, I'm Bob. I'm Jane. I'm Matt. I'm oh, Robert. Hold on, at least I should shake your hand or something. I mean, huh? The pleasantries and all that. But, uh... Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Russell is she... wearing Riddleson's mask, by the way. That's fine. If that matters. She shakes. Yeah, it doesn't. She shakes her hand. Yeah, Anubin's gonna. Is... Uh, oh, and this is my um, my daughter Islos. And his loss will start walking over. Uh, and this is Helmy. Um, and this is Jordan. Uh, Helmy's got a special hello for you, actually. I do. I don't know. Jordan, does, does she? Is there a... Uh, we, we, we will roll an initiative if you are going to be aggressive. So that's, that's my... I'm uh... just asking Jordan. <laughs> so to Jordan. Jordan's the leader. Jordan doesn't show. I mean, he walks with the staff and his as like a walking stick, anyways. But he's not. Okay, I'll carry on. Ball. I'll carry on for a bit. Then I'll just say, how, how do you look, know where Eric? Sorry. What? what? How do y'all know uh, the doctor? How do y'all know the doctor? Oh. oh, did you say Eric? I thought he was. I thought he was called. I thought that's what you said. Edward. 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 Yeah. Where his bodyguards in case he gets into any trouble in these woods? Oh right. You know, I heard there's some things around. Uh, gosh, he he's been. Is he just over there then? Yeah. Hey, Edward. Yes. Uh, some gatewalkers have come to visit you. Oh, what a surprise. I wasn't expecting. Ah, you see. Oh, I mean, oh he, he looks wrong. It's different. Yeah. I know he looks the same. No, he doesn't. He looks the same, just That's... uglier, I guess. Yeah. Uh, not, not, you know. Um. So, uh, Edward seems to have. He looks. I mean, picture-wise, looks a little less, a little more, I would say, tired, like, more. But he also emanates this just, like, sort of powerful aura that you seem to don't like about, don't like too much. Ah, my favorite gatewalkers. I uh, did tell... All went to tell you to wait at the manor, did I not? Oh, yes, but we found a new discovery. Something I, I, I think you'd want to hear about. Uh, it's, uh, well, we had a vision, all of us. Oh, really? Yeah, a, a creature. They were sort of fish-like. A uh, fish-like creature? Romy Deception. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say, they, they often do something about, like, told us that uh, to tell you you were close to getting getting it or something. Uh, 
I'm gonna hear it for now. By I'm gonna way, kill him. <laughs> oh, sorry. I don't want to. I don't want to interrupt so much as to point out that even though Russell is in the back, she is wearing his mask. Uh that is great, actually. What the role as Edward kind of uh, Chris like. Oh wait. What the? Thank you. You know what? Gain a hero point, Eric, for con constantly remind. I I'm assuming you'd be here then. Yes, or no? Maybe. Or uh, were you? I would mean, you have been where you stood? In which case, he wouldn't have noticed you. Up to you. Hell, be oh, giving me no, hand. Well, in I, I wouldn't place, be sorry. behind the wall, I guess. But okay, just in the back. Yeah. Yeah, then uh, with that poor deception and the fact that you're very obviously wearing his mask. Roll for initiative. We're going to roll for initiative. Hell yeah. Fight, 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 fight. Uh, I'm going to set up initiative. Now we will more likely than not, I know we start a little later, but we will more likely than not have to um, stop this mid-combat. So, just a heads up. Ah, oh, for yeah? fuck's sake, Honovan. It's okay, not much better. Sorry, I didn't want to take anybody's uh, opportunities to roleplay, but I did say it when we walked in. <laughs> no, oh, I just don't good. have... I have the memory of a goldfish, and I immediately forgot. Like, literally immediately. No, that's why I was saying that to the party. Yeah. Russell, Cass... You got it, oh, man. You can't, you can't force me to roll, though. <laughs> oh, God, maybe he should have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why, didn't you, why didn't you force me, man? It's, it's Papa's fault. I credibly failed. Oh, what happened to the guardsmen? They did. Um, they will <clears throat> melt away. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh, oh. oh, I don't like that. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to double check here. <clears throat> yeah. Let's uh, roll for NPCs. I didn't know we were going to play XCOM tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Did Edward roll a nat 20? No, that would have been great, though. And I'm also going to... Should I use... No, I'll wait for the... So, uh, spoilers, I have final boss music. It's a playlist I mix myself. But this isn't the time to use it. Uh... Boss. But it's pretty close to that, but I don't have like a mid-tier between just Dark Souls and... Well, hold on. I have... Uh, We're all mid-tier. What I had... <laughs> what I hear boss music? Hold on. I think I have another one that I haven't played in this campaign yet so let me quickly find it because it's probably got any final fantasy um 14 and a yeah i mean not for boss music but let me see epic boss i have that dark show three elden ring oh i have a boss soundtrack sorry guys i'm i know i'm uh I'm too excited about this, but here we go. Let's play this. It has some Final Fantasy in it. Is it playing? Come on, you can play. I don't like this. Hold on. Is music playing or is it broken? It was playing. All right, sorry. Let me do a thing. I am very sorry for the technical issues, but one second, please. There we go. Set that up. Set that up. Try one last time here. Try one last time here. There we go. There we go. Russell. So, question. Quick mount. Does that <laughs> allow me to command my mount normally, or do I have to do the command an animal thing? Allows you to. I'm pretty sure the rules on on on. Uh, 
Yeah, you can use your two actions right after that. Yeah, so one action okay. to mount and use the two actions. Yeah. So I'm gonna do that. As uh, I'll have ball. Hmm, can ball get in there? Yeah, it's just gotta roll around. By the way, guys, um, I put mm, I put these doppelgangers, but they're still in their human form, but they're starting to transform for a mechanical reason. Sorry, I forgot about that. Yeah, I can re-put the tokens on, but it's not going to bother. They're still starting to transform. So, but they're, they are, their they're noses are gone. Their noses are gone, but they're still they're human, but you can see them transforming. I think it's better to leave them as human for now. I just jumped the gun there. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Russell will jump on and Ball will try to tumble through uh, the doppelgangers. Okay. Go ahead and make that. Is that two acrobatic checks? It would be how it's Ball's movement. Uh, you can just do one and we can tumble through all of them. It's fine. Make it, make it a little simpler here. Target one, tumble through. Uh, uh. Did you target? Uh, hmm. I thought I did. I thought you did too. Uh, that is a... Is it against reflex? Yes. Okay. That is a success. I think a crit success. As you move past the doppelgangers, they will end the charade. And this is, what I, this is where I forgot about them. But they are transformed into humans. Another creature moves adjacent or takes a hostage, or like you're moving through them effectively. They revert to their natural form and make a strike. Uh, you were sort of aware they were trying to transform, so I will not put you off guard against this attack, to be fair on this, all right? That's rough. All right. That is rough. They only have this attack of opportunity, and then they're, they're yeah, for the most part. So let's go ahead and make four strikes against Ball. Miss. Hit for nine. Miss. Hit for 13. Okay, okay. And now they're doppelgangers. Sorry, thank you. Yep, as Ball kind of does some combination of rolling along the wall and rolling through the doppelgangers, uh, that's one action. Russell is going to channel elements. Mm -hmm. And uh, activate her spore effect. Okay. Click on both for me, please. He's going to succeed. Uh, and the two doppelgangers. That's absolutely fair as well. They will fail and critically fail. Sick and two for the one on the right. Sick and one for the one on the left. Both of them dazzled. And Russell will. Uh, she can't raise a shield. She's out of actions. So, uh, if if the game is on, Russell's just gonna do a strike. Okay. What? Why can't I? Oh, there it is. Ah, uh, we're gonna make this uh, vitality damage because fuck him. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna hair point that because fuck him. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Your points are a lie. All right, that's my turn. As Russell pounces up through the doppelgangers, activates her aura, and throws a wooden javelin at Riddleson, it streaks past his shoulder. <laughs> hmm. He has turned quiet. 
And you see a focus in his eyes and just burning anger. The first thing he's going to do is let me double check here. Can you do that? Yeah. Okay. Let me double check this as well. Or yep. Yeah. Okay. He's going to pull out a spell scroll which is part of my rules which I will be changing but for now they are free actions as you guys do that as well read from it and cast see the range on this ah I'm gonna pull it in archives the spell scrolls weird here Yep, perfect. Tell me. I would like for you to roll me a DC... You know what? Roll me a will save. Uh, was that a failure or a crit failure? That's a critical failure. I believe I will be re-rolling that using a hero point. Mm-hmm. Critical failure. Okay. Boy. Oh, damn. It's rough, buddy. I got any music. Uh, not to be for. I'm playing some badass music. Yeah, I'm bonus. missing out. I'm playing some bad. You can refresh while we're still yeah, waiting yeah. for your turn, if you'd like. Um. Hey, tell me, you don't have anything that turns a critical failure into a failure or anything like that? I most assuredly do not. Okay. Tell me. Yeah. Where you see in your mind. Onovan, Jardin, Cass. They've been the ones. They're the ones that were attempting to take your brain. Why? All along. Your eyes, your feathers. They were using you, tell me. And Islos? <gasps> Islos was just manipulating you. I am very sorry, but you are confused for one minute. Oh! No. Damn. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Really bad. With no save trend early is what it says. No! Yes. Yep. That's that's rough. That's oh. I will post the confusion spell, guys. Yep. I don't want, I don't want, I don't want. That yep. that's Ed accurate. Edward Snickers and will then move back. Uh I'm gonna say what's his movement? His old his entire twenty five feet. So around here. Opportunity attack. <laughs> you certainly can do that. Go ahead and target him and quit, strike quit. him. If it's 15, then you can. Yeah. Tiz, tiz. Hell yeah, I love missing. That is Edward's turn. The doppelgangers will start striking here. I'll put the reaction on them. They're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and flank Russell. So five. The walls are. Oh, I guess I can't do that, can I? Hmm. Question, just quickly. Yes, yes. You said. At the end of last session, we would be level 10. Are we supposed to be level 10 by now? Is this like... It's supposed to be level 9 after this battle. After this battle, okay. That's what I meant, yeah. After no, this okay. battle, you will be level 9. Sick. Okay. Yeah, man. End of chapter 1. 
I'm gonna move here with a first action. Strike it on of him with a second. No. And that dazzled and sickened is still on. Is he second one? Does he need to roll a fortitude save then to get rid of that second? Uh, as part of that, I'm assuming yes. So he's gonna roll a fort save. What's your DC, um, Eric? I think Eric has to go soon. Is it higher than twenty? I do. Um, I'm pretty sure yeah. it's higher than twenty. Yeah, it's definitely more than twenty. So he's not. Yeah, it's twenty-seven. He's. Not gonna succeed in the wretch, and uh, they might not even attempt to do so. Um, shit. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna call it. I'm very sorry. Well, we could possibly, as Eric leaves, do the rest of the round and then call it before it's Russell's turn again. If you guys, that's are fine. Okay. Go ahead. If, yeah. Yeah. Eric. Up, Eric. Up. Uh, really quick, I'll pause YouTube to resume the recording. This doppelganger will. You know what? Let's get out of this deadlock here. Five. Would you like to use an attack opportunity, Jordan? I would. Awesome. Go and strike him. Kill him. Kill him who's boss, man. Almost. Oh, uh, you targeted Islos oh, for some reason. That's, that's, a, yeah, that's a critical on the doppelganger. Go ahead and roll me critical, please. Nice. Uh, he will retaliate with a second action and strike at you. Miss with his third. Miss again. Onovan. Okay, can I see that Helmi's looking at us like we're enemies and stuff? Do I know that she's confused? Um. Yeah, well, are you shouting or babbling incoherently, Helmi? Uh, I'm probably screaming about betrayal and waving my sword at every direction. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, you need to take a time out. Uh, I'm going to cast stasis on Helmy. <laughs> Go ahead and uh, hit the button. What's it do? Uh, oh, I, I will need you to roll me that. We'll save Helmy. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Time ceases to pass. Awesome. Uh, for one round, you're invulnerable and you cannot do anything, right? I'm assuming. Uh, well, Helmy's not going to say anything because Helmy's in a time stasis. But yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, I cannot be talking about anything. Damn. Oh, you're muted. Right. Oh. Oh, bonus. I thought he was I... saying something. Oh, oh, okay. Bonus. Were you saying something? I was muted, yeah. I just thought it would be good to stop the high-level fighter from killing us all, but uh, yeah, I, I realize I was... that's also really boring for you. No, well, I was... Uh, try. Mm, yeah. Um, Onovan, uh, that's two actions, yeah. Yeah, Onovan's then going to... Um... Right, that, that's the turn. Uh, okay, uh, I've got... I could do this right. Um, so because if I calculate right, that will end at the start of my turn, that stasis. Because it's a round. Uh, the one round, yeah. Yep, yep, okay. yep. Then I should be okay to stand here for a whole second, meaning I will uh, boost Eidolon and do an extended boost. Nature DC 24, I think it's 24. Yeah. Obviously get a crit. Yeah, you did get a crit. Mother... But I'm using a hair mm -hmm. point on that. I don't actually mm -hmm. care. That's a Whatever. failure. You keep the focus point. Fucking hate. It's so <laughs> uh, cool. And then... Still boosted, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, Isolus is boosted for now, yeah. Um, Wait, I can't Isolus... help you anymore. You're not my friend. <laughs> Uh, and then Islos is going to try and get the one away from Cast uh, by smacking at it. Okay, and that is a hit. Roll me damage. Oh, I think I accidentally clicked Taff. Sorry. Let's undo that and do full. There we go. That's and, my turn. Uh, thank you. Doppelganger will strike at Onovan. I think I'm just gonna. They don't have super interesting things they can do. I can. I guess they can faint, but it's no point because you're already off guard. Uh. Eh. 
Ah, uh, ah, uh, these guys. All right, we're gonna strike at you once. Oh, did it? What did I do? What did I do? I hit a button. Okay, let's try again. One. Yeah. Okay. Onovan, you will take uh thirty-two damage. Ooh, what the fuck. I'm getting fucked, man. And then let's attempt another M A or N M N M A P. And an MAP again. Oh, what oh. the fuck? I'm sorry. Someone, someone's getting bullied, man. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, it was just the easiest flanking thing. Help me. I believe I'm lost in time. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is your turn, right? You're just, you can't do shit. Uh, will turn, turn, no, 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 no rounds relapse. Anything can't be moved. Uh yeah, that's it. Cass. Sorry, try. Uh, question: Can you target someone in stasis with spells? I don't think I'm targetable mm. right now. Yeah, I'm vulnerable. Yeah, I cannot be targeted or affected by anything. Uh, damn, no. I was going to dispel, dispel magic. Get in position. Well, you can dispel magic. No, not not while she's stasis. Oh. Yeah, he'd only dispel the stasis, and I don't think he can even yeah. dispel that, because nothing can affect me. Yeah. Just, just get in position! We just need to get away! He had a enemy's raving mad! He was, I was gonna remove the, the, the madness! Alright, well, just do it in a bit then! Fine! But I make it so hard, man! I, uh... Yeah, well, how do you ready in action? Could you like move and then ready in action to cast it? I can't. It's uh, two actions for one action. You can't ready a two action. Ah. Uh, so I'll, I'll have to wait until the next turn to do it. Well, can uh, I just drop the spell? It's concentrate. Yeah. It's like, no, just drop it. that's no, oh. no, that's not. That's not how it works. Concentrate oh. is not Pathfinder. It's the Pathfinder. Uh, uh, it's it's you gotta it, the duration is one round and that's it. You uh, cast you gotta speak up next time he's yeah, yeah, about yeah. to cast uh, a spell and be like oh, I, don't do that or something. I, yeah, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's a bit too late for that. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I'm gonna move here and I'm gonna look at that guy. I'm gonna cast slow on him. Okay. Yeah. Come on, be slow, man. Oh, I'm going to point to re-roll a oh, critical failure slow oh on, my days. on yeah. a boss. I'm sorry. Yeah. There is a. Yeah. This is the only reason <laughs> like yeah, no. vellum points need to yeah. exist. I'm yeah, sorry. It's, yeah. it's just you, not. It's no. not a good. It's <laughs> not a good thing. You a bitch, man. <laughs> you a bitch. I, I'm not. I'm not complaining. I'm just asking. Do vellum points are they real? No. No. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this is I just wanted just what just wanted yeah, they are they are a house rule that I've added. That's fine, um, that's fine. It is, it is sometimes when you roll a nat one on a slow, which is the most broken, no, no, no. Spell yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I just wouldn't yeah, yeah. if it was real or not. I just wanted to be, I was just like, <laughs> they are real for me. <laughs> that's good. If I, if I succeed at that, oh, right. this is fine. One of them, that's slow, that's slow for one round, yeah, yeah. like that could have been fine. Cause that slowed yeah, to a minute. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm so sorry, guys, but this yeah, is the oh, one right. point I would use it. Thank you, Cass. Uh, he has slowed for a round. Yeah, that's my turn. Ooh, Jordan. Okay, the end of my staff bursts in the flames as I swing it around at this guy in front of me. I know I have him targeted. There we go. Yoink. Mm. Okay, sure. Jordan, get away right. from Helmy. All right, and then, um, yeah, hearing the hearing Helmy being all weird and stuff, I will step over here for my last action. Can't hold mm. her for long. The doppelganger will move after Jordan. It's like I'm changing me. What? No, what I'm gonna probably. Do, I'll keep my. I'll keep my reaction. Actually, I might need it <laughs> desperately. Okay. Well, he's not doing great, but that's okay. 
Lastly, before the start of this next round, there is one more creature that uh, kind of pops out of uh, Snowy Owl pocket <laughs> and starts flying outwards as you see this thing. The what the fuck? <laughs> Go, oh, that's like get... the mind of a dead gatewalker. As will use its first action to fly up. Um, let me just double check here. Where's I don't know the ceiling, but I'm gonna assume. Yeah, I'm just gonna assume it's <sighs> it's probably it's ruined tower, so probably open air. All right. So, uh, let me just see the range from Cass here. Fifteen. How about? We move 15 feet up. Would that make it 30? That'll make it 20. Ah, 20 is fine. It moves one action to go up, uh, and then we'll use an action to telekinetic slam. That's another <laughs> not one. There we go, Cass. Get fucked, man. I won't reroll that one. And then Good last man. action, it will. It will do an action. That I will not, uh, I will not reveal for now, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna write this down, uh, because we're at the end of the session. Ogovit uses that action. There we go. All right, and that's <laughs> that's uh, probably Jeez gonna be the ladies. session as we are gonna need Lu uh, Russell and uh, ooh. Thanks for watching YouTube. Like and subscribe. Bye.